So, that's not something you want to do for your kids is say stuff like that. I mean, that's just not good. I mean, first of all, one, you don't need to tell your kids, tell, not your, not your kids, <laughs> I'm not even going to restart this. You don't need to tell your kids, well, I said I wasn't going to do it, so I'm not going to do it. You don't need to tell people you're trying to get your kids out of the house. Your kids don't want to hear you say, I'm trying to get your kids out, you're, you're trying to get them out of the house. What kid wants to hear that? Oh, I'm just trying to get them out of the house. Your kid doesn't need to hear that. Your kid needs to hear how much you love them and how you're working with them and believe in God for their next step in life so they can enjoy childhood. An eight-year-old doesn't need, oh, yeah, I'm just working to get them out of the house. Makes it sound like you don't want them. You don't need to say it. Don't joke. Don't play. Kids may joke it off. Ha, 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 at a family reunion. Ha, ha, I'm just trying to get my kids out of the house. That's not, you don't need to be saying that. Uh-uh. That's totally inappropriate. So go ahead and stop saying it. Your kids don't want to hear it. They're not going to say, Dad, I don't think that's a good thing for you to say. They're not going to say that. So, one, don't be saying, I'm just trying to get these kids out of the house. Two, don't call your kids names, even if you're joking. Don't call them silly. Oh, look, little silly's doing that. Oh, knucklehead. Knucklehead. I mean, what if you, what if I walked into, you know, my employee saying, hey, knucklehead, come over here. Hey, knucklehead, come over here. Hey, go to, <laughs> you're, sign, you're about to sign autographs for your brand new book. You say, hey, I just want to welcome you all here, you knuckleheads. I mean, what is a knucklehead anyway? You don't need to call your kid's name, not even jokingly. Because it's a name. It's a curse on them. You are calling them something they're not supposed to call. Call them wonderful. Hello, beautiful. You know, your daughter comes home. Hello, handsome. Your son comes home. Hey, don't call them. I've heard people do it. You don't want to do it. It's wrong. It's cursing them. It degrades them. You call them names. Don't call them age. Oh, stupid. Don't call them that. So don't do that. Don't call them. Kids don't need to hear that. And third... Your children don't need to hear you talk about another child incessantly, okay, incessantly. <laughs> they don't need to hear that. If little Johnny does not need to hear you talk about little Susie 24-7 to all your friends, you don't say anything about them. I mean, little Susie might be the star of her football, uh, football team, her football, F-U-T-B-A-L-L, -L, her football team, soccer in the United States, <laughs> but... She does, they, he doesn't need to hear about how great she's doing in high school and she's doing all these things and you're ignoring that person. You're just spending all your time talking to all the friends, all your relatives, on social profiles, on your TV show that airs around the world how great this kid is and you're ignoring that one. Hey, this child might be believing God for something that's like the next, the college they need to go to. Maybe they're spending their time focusing not on high school but on college. And so you might be taking away the encouragement you could be giving them because you're spending all your time, hey, it looks like she's doing something because she's she's getting that soccer championship in high school and doesn't look like he's doing anything. He's just in there, you know, you know, playing with his game system. So your chip, make sure you give them equal time, but not just equal time, you know, individually, but equal time when you're talking about your children to other people. Make sure your children do need to hear you say good things about them. If you don't know what your child's doing that's good, ask God and he'll tell you. And I love you. Jesus is Lord. He's your healer, your financier, and your righteousness. Will you receive and you got it? The war is over. Thanks for joining me. That's a lot of stuff to say in the end of the video. <laughs> but I love you. Bye.